Welcome everybody to Grand Combat Computer Reports. We continue our series of quest games from uh, Total War Warhammer. Uh, or Warhammer Total War. I prefer that, Warhammer Total War. I don't think it's right. Anyway, we have Dwarfs versus Vampire Counts. Uh, we're going through these various battles. You can see what we've got. We definitely outnumber them, but they probably are much more powerful. Probably every single stand is much more powerful. Um, and also, I think they get reinforcements or something like that. And you can see they come out from three different uh, locations. So this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, but first, just real quick, I just want to explain. I am playing these uh, dwarven games so, uh, so that I can, or these dwarven quests along this one specific section of quests, uh, so I can get good at this because I'm going to run the campaign starting July 6. I want all of you to join me. I want you to be my armed and stinky senate. And uh, essentially, you guys will make the decisions. I will basically get to certain points, and I'll go, okay, I want you guys to make a decision. Should we do A, B, or C? You choose, uh, and we will continue the campaign based on that. So come and join me then. Now, let's see what the situation is here. You can see we are on this hill. We are lined up with Thunders and Quirlers, which are crossbowmen, and the Thunders are uh, basically gunmen, uh, like muskets. Uh, and we got cannon all along here. Uh, so you may wonder why are we pointed over just sort of the, at these trees? Well, you can see that they have the dire wolves coming out of the woods. Dire wolves, dire wolves. My girlfriend would hate me for this because she's real big animal actress, and I'm getting ready to shoot a bunch of animals. So wolves are coming out of the uh, the woods, and we got Varghoff, a monster, uh, who's coming out of there. But they also have. It's always harder on this tactical map because. Uh, I can't twist it. But anyway, they also have them here, and this is where, actually, their leader is, uh, Peter Stahlberg, and we have zombies coming out of, oh, ground, grave guard, grave guard, we'll look at what they look like here in a moment, more zombies. So zombies coming out of those woods, and we got skeletons and fell bats coming out of these woods, um, and terrorgeist, ooh, oh, that looks like a big, nasty monster. So... These guys will be coming up to our rear, so why are we, uh, you know, going after this one? Well, my idea is we are outnumbered. Actually, it's weird because on the, um, oh, what do you call it? At the beginning thing, it said that we were outnumbering them, but, uh, you know, and now it's showing them as outnumbering us. So when I set up, I decided, you know, if they're going to come in from three different directions, I'm going to just concentrate on one of them, try to completely take that one out, uh, and then try to deal with them one at a time rather than trying to take all, get a great position to take all of them on at once. So... Uh, I'm hoping that they come at me. They're they're undead. They're mindless undead, so they'll probably be charging at me. So I'm going to try to put them. I put myself into as strong a position as possible. Uh, you're going to see basically here. So you can see that I got the cannons up at the crest of the hill, and I've got the shorter range uh, ranged fighters at the bottom, so that basically they can maximize their firepower at them as they come out of those woods. And if they come any further than there, I, I have it all backed up by my dwarf and axemen. Uh, so they will be able to run up there once they get to close range. I also have long beards, which are elite infantry, ready at the side in case they get uh, any of these other two get there with uh, faster units. Plus, I have hiding in the woods here slayers. And the slayers are really good at attack. They basically are the, an ambush unit. The idea is, that, again, if they try to get into our rear from over this direction or over from this direction, the slayers will come and uh, attack them, at least stop them and slow them down long enough for us to finish these guys off and shift around that direction. Let's see how it works, but first of all, actually, I just real quick want to see if what a few of these guys look like over here. There are a couple really interesting sounding units that were over here. Okay, as you saw, all the zombies got the, oh, that's the grave guard. That's kind of what I was wondering about. Oh, okay. They're kind of like, uh, well, they're definitely the animated dead. Uh, they're kind of like wraiths, it looks like. I'm sure they're different from that in all their stats and stuff. You can talk about that and argue about it in the comments if you like. And a flying, what you might call a terrorgeist. Ooh, that thing is scary. And it's big and open inside. All right. Well, I got my cat here watching me, so he is going to be a part of this thing. All right. And if any of you have watched uh, the, uh, my XCOM videos, it's Snowball. I named all the characters in that one after my different cats. And Snowball ended up becoming kind of a major character. So, all right, let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point out my leader down there is Ungren Iron Fist. Oh, that is cool.
Oh, I love that! They quoted Shakespeare! Alright guys, start shooting! Any day now! Any day you can start shooting! There we go! Oh yeah! Laying in the fire on them! Oh, now we're gonna pull back because, yeah, I put it on a skirmish order. They're gonna pull back and uh, our other guys are supposed to... Oh, there we go. I put Slayers to go after them. I, I guess I was... There we go. And then we got the... Well, Quarrelers are going up to fight. I guess I just realized at a certain point that my cannons were vulnerable. My Axemen were too far back. Now I've got my Axemen going up there. and But they might have been just barely too late. They got to the uh, cannons. Meanwhile, up here... They actually sent uh, some dire wolves up this direction, and the slayers have come out. Now we've pushed them away, but here's the sad thing, is I have now given away my ambush. So the other ones will not be surprised by that. And oh, this looks like they're slipping by the slayers. Oh, nope, the, they're stopping to fight the slayers. Meanwhile, all along here, we have now done our job. We have wiped out that, uh, that side, that uh, flank. So, uh, we're gonna have to take on the others. Might have to take them on without the artillery. Oh, looks like the artillery is still there. The guys are chasing after them. They're like, we're gonna take you and take our cannons and knock them into you. Oh no, here we go. They're lining them up along here, getting ready to fight them as they come. Now, this one big bat guy is still there and being fought. Oh, and we took them down. Nice. Alright, now they've sent their bats up to take on the slayers. The slayers are trying to get back in ambush, but the bats are harassing them. And here comes the dragon. Or the skeletal dragon. What is it called? Terrorgeist. So now, yeah, the uh, Slayers are just like, well, screw it, we're not going to be hidden, so let's just take on these guys and fight the uh, the undead dragon. Ooh, yikes. Let's look at this thing in slow motion. Get this big fight going on. Oh, yeah. And taking him, <laughs> just eating that guy whole. Oh no, there he is. Well, I guess if he ate him whole, he'd come out like the bottom part. All right, let's keep on going. All right, now, oh, now we have a line set up again of uh, our our range units and our cannons, shooting at him from a long distance away. That is going to be well done against the uh, zombies. But the zombies just keep on coming. Let's see this in slow motion. Oh yeah. We like to see them getting hit. Boom. Oh, bowling ball right through them. Nice. Oh, it's oh, it's uh, this uh this big rock that came up from the bottom, I think. From the ground. Alright. Knocking them from a distance. That is well done. All right, and the Slayer's still up. Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, I remember having to do this going, you know, they were all around, and I really needed the Slayers to come back to support, but I needed to sacrifice one unit, so I left this one unit of Slayers to stay back and hold them off as long as possible. But who looked better to leave behind than Slayers? Slayers who uh, have basically taken an oath to commit suicide, uh, but to take out as much evil as they can as they go along. Man, life must be must really suck for the dwarves if there are that many uh, who are willing to commit suicide. All right, and there it comes. It's almost like machine gun fire on out here. This is nice. Look at them run. Ooh, go. All right. That's not somewhere I'd want to be wanting to charge. That is a well-placed line. Oh, nicely done. Going right into the mouths of the cannons. I mean, some of them, they, the thing about the undead is they are fearless, so they don't run, but, you know, at a certain point, you just run out of units. And then this time I was right with the timing of the Axemen, bringing them down to... Uh, to take on the um, the zombies. Now their morale is shaking, which I don't understand how that happened with zombies. They don't exactly have morale. Uh, this time, yeah, again, I brought the Axemen down in time to actually fight them. Now, of course, the bowmen are fighting as well, but bowmen can at least fight better than uh, cannon guys can. And up here, we're just still waiting. 
we just I figured that they'd get past the Slayers I did finally bring in the other Slayers because the first one was ruining so well I'm like well screw it and if they end up winning then hey but if they don't we have these others who are here in defense that uh, is a whole extra line of them so oh hey we got the uh, is that the wizard? Peter Stahlberg that's a leader I didn't even realize he was there he kind of sneaked behind Got him right in the zombie balls. Castor, see? He did get him in the zombie balls. He's, he did nothing left. And... Boosh! Nice! Alright. Good camera work, if I do say so myself. Yeah, at this point, it's just like, well, hey, why even send anybody else over there? They, the Slayers are doing it themselves, and look at this. We've almost gotten this line taken care of. And you'll notice, you remember the first two games I lost, and this is the second game that I will probably have won, so the last one will be the tiebreaker. Oh, nicely done. Let's wait until he's doing another one, and then... Nice. I feel like... Oh, here, it's kind of like uh, 300 here. And then go to fast motion. Sorry, that'd be 300 meets Benny Hill. Alright, and then... Oh, I went fast motion again. Sorry. Uh, oh, I thought he was doing a spinning thing there. I'm just playing with the slow motion of this one, because we know who's winning, it's just gonna... This is just a matter of making it look cool. And macho. Nice! Them. Just dropping my way through the undead. Oh, he just hit the ground and the guy just fell over. He's like, screw this. Oh, and they... Okay, they've, the leaders finished his little fight. We're surrounded these uh, grave guard. Oh, the grave guard! The guys I was curious about from the beginning. They look. Uh, I'm not even 100 percent certain that they're undead. They might be like the humans who are guarding the graves, that are where they're being raised. Oh, now they've actually been pushing back our slayers. So now the reinforcements come in. They're like, all right, we'll finish this off. These slayers have done well enough. These zombies, they look kind of funny when they swing. Whoa. That looks like it. We might have done it. I think we got him. Oh, and the bad guy. Leader is dead. That was good. Oh, so we've won... Two and we've lost two, so we are two for two. What will the tiebreaker be in the next game? Uh, stay tuned for that uh, and uh, subscribe to see when it comes on. And to know when on July 6th at 6 o'clock we are going to have the beginning of the campaign and it is going to be awesome! Uh, you're going to be able to take part in the game and uh, be part of the Senate. So uh, you'll be able to make the choices as to what happens and even if you miss it, Watch afterwards because I will at the end give certain choices and say, okay, which one should we do? And you all get to choose. Uh, let's look and see what the uh, results of this was. Oh, yeah. Uh, results of Army of Ungrim. Awesome! Uh, the Undead Horde. Took that. Oh, deployed 751, lost 751. Got them all. Undead Horde, 361. We killed every last one of them. But again, that's, I guess, what, what happens with the Undead. You're usually going to have 100% casualties. Uh, because they don't, you know, typically don't retreat. Well, that'll be it for us. Thank you all for watching. Uh, subscribe to see more, and happy gaming, everybody!